Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. This is going to be a very quick video. I just wanted to show something. We did these splits here in this yard yesterday. And a lot of people was asking, do we have to move these down the road two mile? A long distance away? And the answer is no, you do not. And let me show you. This frame was full yesterday when I put it in. And it's full today when I, put it, when I pulled it out. You can see right there. Now, maybe a quarter of those bees have flown back. But the majority of these bees were nurse bees. So they stayed in the hive. And I'll show you this side as well. A lot of bees and plenty enough. Plenty enough. And, and what we'll do, and I'll show you here real quick. Okay, here's my... So if I can do this one-handed, like I usually do. Let's see if I can do this here. Okay, I got my queen here. We got these from our other yard because we're doing splits in this yard, trying to increase this yard. So there's our mated queen. We uh, marked her. They're actually Jimmy marked her. He does most of the marking. He pulled the queens out and marked them. So there's her, her right there. And they do fine like this. And I'll just simply lower her down there. And I'll wait a couple seconds and I'll show you how, how fast they cover her up. If I can get her down there without upsetting it. I'll give them a couple seconds there. And watch how fast they'll cover that new queen up because they're, they're in a hurry for a queen. Now sometimes the hive will roar when you put something in like that as well. They was pretty quiet, they was calmed down. Even though they was queenless, a lot of times they'll roar when they're queenless, but it's it's a little bit cool out and it's it's still a little bit dark. So I'm got a pretty early start on this today. Get in there B. So let's give that a couple seconds and I'll show you how, how fast they'll jump on that that new queen. That's probably about enough time. It don't take them long. I'll just pull it up and just show you how fast they've jumped on that cage. And here before long, they'll be all, they'll be covering it up even more than that. So that's about it. You don't have to take these two miles down the road. Don't listen to that, that old school, a lot of that old school teaching is wrong. It's just uh, nothing against people that's old school but i'm telling you i'm showing you what works i could go down through here and show you every one that we did a split on yesterday and there'll be that many bees in there no problem uh the nurse bees stay that's what a lot of the old school teaching doesn't teach people is when you when you pull those frames out that has a lot of nurse bees on them those bees will stay so about a quarter of them will actually that'll be foragers that'll be on that frame they'll go back and the rest of them will stay but that's about it. I just wanted to show you how that looked. And don't forget, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of up and coming videos. We got a lot of videos coming this year, a lot of videos out to help the new beekeeper. And please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, Barnard Bees.